Imagine that you are in an arena packed with thousands of people cheering on one of the greatest sports of all time. But where are you, and what is this sport? Well, the location is ancient Rome, and the sport is chariot racing. Horse-driven chariots were not particularly new at the time. They had already been used in empires like Egypt and Persia for warfare. But it was not until the Greek Olympics where people started using four horses for racing instead of two horses for warfare. A typical race would involve 12 racers uh, racing seven laps around an oval-shaped arena like the Circus Maximus. The races could be free for all or in teams with the colors are shown here. Sometimes curse tablets were written to spook the enemy racers, but those were not needed. The races themselves were very dangerous, because the chariots were very lightweight and fragile. Crashes were common, and they were all for entertainment of the masses. Romans had their celebrities as well. One of the most famous was the slave Diocles, who rode his way to freedom. He was able to do this by buying his freedom from race money. His fortune then increased to 100 times that of a senator. One of the most influential events for chariot racing was the Nika riots, where fans became so excited that they took to the streets. Unfortunately, this caused the soldiers from the army to crush the riots. It was a public demonstration on how angry and excited fans could get, and also how easily the military could crush rebellions. While many believe chariot racing is a dead sport, its influence is present in one of our modern events. The sport is NASCAR. NASCAR and chariot racing are very similar. Their concepts involve high speeds around an oval-shaped arena, and the best part about either race is watching people crash. Betting was also one of the main themes for each type of race. People could win a lot of money on betting on certain people, just like with the racers in ancient Rome. Spectators loved to watch celebrities, the Romans had Diocles, and we have Dale Earnhardt and his son. I have proven that chariot racing did not die with Rome, and no matter what kind of race it is, the masses will love it. Thank you for watching.